Above all else, life feels like a mystery to me. It feels like we're here, we don't know why we're here, we don't know what this is, we don't know what death is. What makes people mystics, I think, is that they are attracted to that mystery. And they find it, they find by going into that mystery, there, there are deep experiential answers. So that as you pay attention to the mystery, consciousness becomes transformed and you enter into, paradoxically, a state of deep knowing. So in the ancient West, that would be called Gnosis. But if you go to the East, it's called Gnana. It has various names. But there's this knowing before words. One of the differences between religion and mysticism is that religion tends to be about the words. It's like you believe this sentence. Da 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 is the truth. No mystic would say that because the mystic is interested in the truth, which is beyond the words, or perhaps better to say, before the words. So that they're pointing to that. So the very uh, thing which they're discovering is the mystery. I, I, I feel in my own life journey, I started off with life being a mystery that I set out to solve. And in some ways I feel like I've realized that the question was the answer. That's what it is. It is a mystery. But by entering into that mystery and appreciating, oh my goodness, that just how profound, <laughs> that deep and breathtaking, really, just breathtaking, the, the mystery of being alive is. Consciousness changes, and then there's this mystical experience of oneness and love and deep knowing arises. And the words come later. The, the words are about how how can I possibly say this to anyone else? I need words. But the, the experience itself is before ideas.